In 223 BC, Emperor Qin, he was only 23 years old, conquered the six other dynasties at the time and unified them into what is today known as China. He then began building a wall that was expanded over the next 1800 years, the Great Wall of China. It runs 4,000 miles through the mountains, marking the border along China's western frontier. But in the 1600s, the Manchu army bribed soldiers guarding the wall, and they poured into China. When Emperor Qin, the first emperor in China, he was in throne actually for only 15 years, but he spent 10 years building the Great Wall. And according to the historical records, one-fifth of the whole population in China at that time were involved in the construction of the Great Wall. I'm very proud of being a Chinese people because first, in a historically speaking, we have so long a history of uh, civilization. We always say we have 5,000 civilization. So that's the longest civilization among all the countries in the world. Since 1949, I should say, because our new China was founded by our chairman in 1949, and from then on, China is now, is walking up. And from the year 1979 on, things are going better. We carried out our open and reform policy from 1979. That's uh, Deng Xiaoping, you know Deng Xiaoping, the, the, the little guy who was very famous. Because he stayed in France when he was young, he said, China should not close its door to the outside world, or otherwise, China will, would have no way out. He means that it's difficult for China to develop itself without the uh, help from the outside world. <laughs> 